Jesus Reigns TV, impacting, dominating, colonizing nations with the gospel of Jesus Christ. The prayer of a righteous man prevails. You're watching Faith Time with Yam Keller Joseph, a servant of God in our time. Connect in faith. Blessed be the name of the Lord our God. What a marvelous time, what a marvelous hour. Family, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord make his face shine upon your life. My name is Yamkela Joseph, and this is Jesus Wayne's TV. Uh, today, I want to speak to you once again about what I will call the Shama prophet. The Shama prophet. The word Shama, it means a watcher, a prophet that is called to become a watchman. When we call God and we say Jehovah Shama, it means the God who watches over us. So his prophets are called the Shama, meaning those who watch over the people of the Lord. Now, so in this message, I have titled The Presence of the Prophet. I wanna teach you what the presence of the prophet means for the nation, for the believer, for the people of even for the church. Now let us go to the book of Isaiah number 62, Isaiah 62 uh, verse number 6. The Bible says, Jerusalem I have appointed watchmen on your walls. They will never be silent. Day or night there is no rest for you who remind the Lord. Do not give him rest until he establishes and makes Jerusalem the praise of the earth. I want to, to read it again. Jerusalem, I have appointed a watchman on your walls. They will never be silent. Day or night, they will not, there, there is no rest for you who remind the Lord. Do not give him rest until he establishes the, and makes Jerusalem the praise of the earth. Now, God had already given this instruction to the children of Israel that he would place a watchman over the walls of Jerusalem who shall not rest and never be given rest until the Lord establishes Jerusalem and makes it the praise of the whole earth. So family, right now, if you are going to be talking about Jerusalem, you are talking about a spiritual habitation, a place of the presence of the Lord, or a hot spot of the heavens. I've spoken about Jerusalem in the past. When I speak about Palestine and all of these things, I've spoken about that in the past uh, teachings. But I want us to go in the book of First Samuel, First Samuel, seven, chapter seven. Verse number 12, the Bible says, Afterward, Samuel took a stone and set it upright between Mesbah and Shen. He named it Ebenezer, explaining, The Lord has helped us to this point. So the Philistines were subdued and did not invade Israel's territory again. The Lord's hand was against the Philistines all Samuel's life. The cities, the cities from Ekron to Gath, which they had taken from Israel, were restored. Israel even rescued their surrounding territories from the Philistine control, and there was no peace, and there was also peace between Israel and the Amorites. Now, in the lifetime of Samuel, the prophet, the Bible is clear that the Philistines were not able to subdue Israel. 
they were not able to win over Israel in Samuel's lifetime. So the presence of Samuel in the nation of Israel became the restoration, the protection, and the ultimate victory of the nation. Now many of you would know that before Samuel would arrive in Israel, the Bible said the word of God was rare and there was no widespread revelations for many years. Then Eli and his children had already defiled the temple of the Lord and had already came against the Lord. Now the Lord needed a presence of a prophet in Israel to restore what has been stolen. By the way, while Eli does all of these things, the Bible says that the ark of the Lord was captured and it was taken out away from Israel by the Philistines. And it was placed inside of the temple of Dagon. And inside of the temple of Dagon, that is where Dagon's head began to be broken before the ark of the Lord's covenant, which is the God of the Philistines. Now, family, the presence of Samuel was not just the presence of a man. Because the Bible says from the age of 12 years old, none of the words that Samuel spoke to the ground, that Samuel spoke fell to the ground. So now you ought to understand that he was a mouthpiece of the Lord, a watcher over the Israel. As God has said, that I will send a watchman over your walls, Jerusalem. He shall not sleep day and night. So God sends prophets to be watchers. He sends prophets to be watchers, restorers of the children of the Lord, watchers of the church, watchers over the nations, and watchers over the people of the Lord as a whole. Now, when a prophet is being given this assignment, the Bible says as long as he is present, his presence in a place creates a difference. The Bible says as long as Samuel lived, the Philistines were never able to penetrate or to even invade Israel as long as Samuel lives. Without him fighting, without him doing anything, just his presence in the nation created a level of protection for that nation. Now the presence of a prophet is significant. When God sends a prophet, he sends a symbol of his mouthpiece, a symbol of his presence in that nation. A nation who fights their prophets, they fight the mouthpieces of the Lord, the people who have come to preserve them. The Bible is clear that believe in the Lord, you shall be established. And believe in his prophets, you will prosper. Now in Israel at some point, the Bible said there was a huge famine in the presence of the prophet Elisha. And the king realized that though a prophet was around, but we, could, we did not recognize him. We did not give him his place to the nation. And hence the prophet is quiet and we are suffering. Then the Bible said, and the king sent a message to the prophet. He said, let it be far that you continue to live here and our nation remains like this. If tomorrow by this time I don't cut off your head. Then the prophet now was provoked because the king was now giving him charge over the nation and over the calamity of the nation. Then the prophet declared, by, by tomorrow this time, an ox head shall be sold with one shekel in six pieces of shekel in the, in, the, in the gate of Jezreel. Then exactly the official of the prophet could not believe. I mean the, the official of the king could not believe the words of the prophet. Then he said, even if God can open up the windows of heaven, such a thing cannot happen. Then the prophet said, you shall see, but you shall not partake of it. Then in the following day, exactly as the prophet spoke, it was a soul. Now why? It is because the presence of the prophet brings about deliverance to the nation. When the world gives prophets their rightful place that are sent by the Lord to declare and to watch over the nations, the world becomes at the right place. When you God has surrounded and sent a prophet to your life, he has brought a change to you. When the woman of Zarephath met the prophet, she did only had a small flower to eat and to die. But the presence of a prophet in her house began to be the restoration of the multiplication and protection of, her, of even her supply. Then because of that, she lived. Now the Bible says even her son began to die at the presence of the prophet in her house. Now think about if the son could have died and the prophet was not around. 
But this time around when the woman saw that the child has died, she said, Prophet, you are here. I cannot have my child to die, but you are here unless you have come to judge me. Then the Bible says it's clear that the prophet Elijah took the child, the child on top of the upper room and prayed for the child and brought the child back alive to the mother. Now in the absence of the prophet, this could have happened because this woman said, we will eat me and my child and we will die. So eventually she had prepared to die, but it was the matter who was going to die first of hunger. So the child died in the presence of a prophet and now the child was resurrected because the prophet was around. Now, family, anything that is at the presence of a prophet has actually a potential to change. If God sends a prophet of you in your life, it means to send you a solution. And send you somebody with an authority to make things turn around. The Bible says all the days of Samuel in Israel, there was no invasion. There was nobody who invaded Israel. No nation was able to do it because Samuel the prophet was there. I right now want to tell you, in your own nation, there's a prophet. In your own country, there's a prophet. In your own church, there's a prophet. If you can listen to the words of the prophet and obey the prophet of the Lord, the Bible says, he shall make your way prosperous. Things will change for your life. So right now, I want to speak to you. Right now, God is about to do great things. Some of you right now, you have been disturbed by the enemy not to believe in the presence of prophets. But I want to tell you, God has his own prophets at this hour that are working for the Lord in genuinely. The watchmen who are watching over the churches of the Lord. The Bible says when a watchman is watching over, he's watching so that the enemy might not come and prevail over the churches of God. So right now, if you did not know, I'm here to tell you, the presence of the prophet, it means victory. Right now, many people are going through challenges. But I tell you, as you are connecting with me right now, I become a prophet for your own life. If I become a prophet over your own life right now, whatever that has been destroyed in your life, destroyed in your life, has to leave you right now. So right now, I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus that you are free from the foulest name. You are free from the powers of the enemy. You are free from the witches and the wizards. You are free from any spiritual entanglement by the devil. I see you free in Jesus' name. Your nation is protected. Your country is protected. Your government is protected from every intruder, from every false powers that control government behind the scenes, from the deep states. I, con I, I protect you. I protect your governments by the blood of Jesus. God is raising men and women of integrity in your leaderships. God is raising men and women of, of love in your leaderships by the blood of Jesus. The churches are protected. The presence of the prophets is the presence of change, is the presence of protection and defense for the churches of the Lord. You are successful. You are prosperous. You are great. God is doing bigger things in your life. I can see you prospering. I can see you going far. It is already done. Now, family, I believe that you have learned that the presence of a prophet in your life, it is a presence of change. When God wants to send you a prophet, he has sent you somebody to come and impact your life in a beautiful way. Remember, a prophet is not known by a title. A prophet is known by function. It is not what we say we are. It is what we do that show who we are. So may the Lord bless you. May the Lord make his face shine upon your life. Never forget, subscribe on Jesus Reigns TV. Click on the notification. Tell your friend and your family about this ministry. Until I see you next time, may the Lord bless you. Shalom. Thank you for watching Jesus Reigns TV. I believe that you are blessed by the testimonies, the teachings, and the prophecies that you keep getting into this channel. Remember, Jesus Reigns is only here.
to make sure that you at, the, at your home, you are able to receive the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and to know the mind of God in the hour today. As many voices are speaking all over the world, it is very important to hear what the voice of the Lord is saying right now. Maybe you're sitting there at, the, at your home watching or maybe you're watching through your phone or whatever medium you're using and you said in your heart, I've seen the man of God preaching the gospel, but I don't know Jesus. I've never met Jesus and I would love to meet that Jesus to come into my life. Right now, if you don't know Jesus Christ, I want to lead you to a prayer of salvation and the Lord Jesus will come to your heart and he will save you. Your sins will be forgiven and your life will be changed. So make this prayer with me right now. Say, Lord Jesus, come unto my heart and change my life. I believe that you died and you resurrected. And today, because of your blood, I am saved. With my heart, I believe. With my mouth, I confess that you are the Lord over my life and the King of my salvation. Thank you, Jesus, for changing me in Jesus' name. Immediately, you have made this prayer. Now you are born again. Now you are a child of the kingdom of God. The Bible says we believe with our hearts, we confess with our mouth, and we are saved. Immediately, you have done this prayer. You have taken the best decision over your life. And right now, I want you to read the Bible and live by the word of the Lord. Because the Bible is clear that He gave all of us to become the sons of God. And now, you are the son of God. May the Lord bless you. Continue to watch Jesus Christ TV. Continue to click on the notification. Until I see you next time. Shalom. Shalom.